All right, welcome everyone back to this new next section of the SNEA track today when we're going to radically change topics from management to computational storage. Uh, so our uh, speaker for this session, Eli, is going to be going over a basically just an overview of what's going on with SNEA and computational storage and current state of affairs. Um, so Eli, uh, Eli chairs the uh, SNEA Computational Storage Special Interest Group. There's a lot of S's and things in there. Yes, I, I think I managed to get it through that one, um, which is a part of the uh, another organization we inside SNEA called the CMSI, which uh, is a, a education and, and marketing promotion organ. Uh, portion of the organization. Um, that evangelizes SNEA's technical work in computational storage um, and helps put on and develop all of our educational materials. Um, Eli is also the VP of Business Development at NGV Systems. Uh, and prior to that, Eli was Director of Business Development at Western Digital and previously held executive positions at Star One, Violin, STEC, and M Systems. Uh, Eli holds an MBA in International Business and Organizational Behavior and a BS in Marketing, both from Oakland State, oh sorry, Oakland University. Uh, so with that, I will hand this over to Eli to jump in and start giving you an overview of everything computational storage. Thank you, Rochelle, for the introduction and hello everyone, good evening, good morning, good afternoon, and wherever you are. So uh, as Rochelle mentioned, I'm the uh, the SIG chair for computational storage, and uh, in today's session, I'm going to go over uh, what SNEA is doing around computational storage. Try to give you some uh, uh, some flavor of the activities. So let me share the file. All right. So here we go, uh, computational storage. Uh, yeah, let's start a little bit uh, with the history. Uh, uh, under SNEA, this, uh, under the solid state storage, uh, SNEA, uh, there was a, a need for change. Uh, the change uh, became a CMSI, which is Compute Memory and Storage. Uh, so an organization a, a in charge of uh, storage and network standards uh, for these initiatives. And um, uh, a couple years ago, we started to see a big interest around computational storage, and SNEA took the initiative to open a technical working group, followed by a special intergroup to promote computational storage. Uh, and uh, it, this is the topic of, of the session today. Uh, if we are looking at what is the uh, TWIG and, uh, and SIG are doing, so on a very high level, the technical working group uh, is a combination of uh, people who volunteer from various companies. Uh, all of the companies are members of SNEA, and the objective is to deliver a path for a unified deployment of computational storage devices through architecture and programming models for members, vendors, and customers. So creating an ecosystem where uh, people understand how computational storage work, what are the right uh, commands, what are the right things that you should expect and, and shouldn't expect uh, from computational storage. Uh, and as the marketplace is growing uh, with product uh, standardization of interaction of these devices is paramount for market adoption and growth. And that was the, the major initiative for the initial founding members of computational storage, all the companies that actually have product and solution in that field, to get together under SNEA and uh, start working on some common ground that uh, will be the base for computational storage in the industry. And as the technical working group is busy with definition, technical terms, uh, the special interest group mission and objective are to, uh, to be the marketing arm of that uh, technical working group. So the actual mission of the computational storage uh, special in interest group, SIG, is to accelerate their awareness of computational storage concept and influence industry adoption and implementation of value technical specification and programming models when available. 
And the way we do it is various ways. We do uh, broadcasts, write talk, white papers, uh, participating in events such as this one to create awareness uh, and spreading the word of all the wonderful work that the technical working group is doing. I think that my my PDF got lost. Let me uh, bump it up again. There it is. And that's the right slide. Yeah, so uh, I, I started to say that there are 46 participating companies uh, and about 227 uh, uh, members, representatives on the Computational Storage and Technical Working Group. And as you can see, the entire ecosystem around, around compute and storage uh, is involved. It's a very big initiative under SNIA. We have the six uh, NAND vendors uh, and the seventh one that is coming, uh, the YMTC from China. We have the three hard disk drive manufacturer. We have storage controller manufacturers. We have computational storage companies, uh, storage OEM vendors, uh, CPU manufacturers, uh, AMD, ARM, and, and Intel. A very uh, uh, honorable a bunch of uh, companies that are all uh, have one, one thread common is to standardize around computational storage. When, uh, when we look at computational storage uh, from, uh, from a real high level and try to understand what we're trying to do, so right here on the left, you see the, the current compute storage architecture where you have a CPU, you have uh, your memory, and then you have your storage devices. The problem uh, as uh, data sets becoming larger and larger uh, is to uh, uh, compute the, the, the data, you need to move it uh, from the storage to the host, and that becomes a bottleneck to the, to the system. So with, comp and that's on the right-hand side, you can see that uh, a, there are ways to work around that, a, and computational storage on the actual device, computational storage processor, computational storage arrays, all have a, a one, co one common goal is to reduce data movement from the storage to the host, that data movement is being translated into a direct efficiency, higher performance, and lower power, and that's the major benefit of uh, computational storage. Uh, when, uh, when we look at uh, uh, some of the uh, definitions updates that uh, SNIA had done, so first let's start about with the, with the actual definition of computational storage by SNIA. It's architecture that provide computational storage functions, coupled to storage, offloading, host processing, or reducing data movement. That the data moving reduction is, is the big uh, thing. Uh, there are some uh, items that were removed from the initial uh, discussion, the CSS, F FCSS, and PCSS, and some new definitions are uh, highlighted, the computational storage resources, the computational storage engines, and the computational storage functions. And they uh, are joining the three uh, um, definition that that stayed: the computational storage devices, uh, the computational storage processors, and the computational storage uh, drive. Uh, here's a visual representation of uh, the definition uh, references. Uh, so when we say computational storage, there's uh, many items underneath that that are, needs to be defined. Uh, what are the exact functions that are that are being done? What is the actual device? Is it the computational storage device, processor, drive, or an array? And what are the computational storage uh, uh, engines and resources that are involved? Uh, the computational storage technical working group items for uh, for this year is to actually release the uh, architecture document uh, all the way up to a uh, rev run, uh, release it uh, and start working on, uh, on enhancement to that architectural uh, document. 
the uh, user space API document, initial draft, and public release for comments, and uh, add security items uh, that will be evaluated. Uh, SNIA uh, group collaboration are, is to engage and monitor the CDXI efforts, and some of the external interactions are with the NVMe Express uh, TP work and the ISO and NIST around the storage security. Uh, here is the list again of all the, the member companies of comp uh, under SNIA under CMSI for Computational Storage Technical Working Group. We, uh, we would love to have uh, you, if you're not a member, uh, to join, uh, influence uh, how computational storage uh, will behave in the future. The only way to influence is to be part, uh, part of the group. Uh, and if you are not uh, uh, in a position to join, then hopefully the activity of the Computational Storage Special Interest Group will be there to uh, make sure you're educated about uh, what was uh, defined in the architecture and how uh, computational storage is being shaped uh, from an ecosystem perspective. Uh, so that's it. A high level uh, the overview about computational storage under SNIA, the technical working group, and the uh, uh, special interest group. If there are any questions, I'll be happy to take them. Michelle, I think you're on mute. Oh, whoops. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, let me try that again. Thank you, Eli. Um, yeah. the, uh, for, just a reminder to folks, the uh, Q&A is in the right-hand pane. Feel free to click on the Q&A section and submit questions. We will also have a formal Q&A session later this afternoon, specifically or computational storage called your questions answered on computational storage if there's anything we don't get to right now. And I think that we originally had uh, scheduled for 20 minutes or so and uh, it seems like we were able to uh, cut on time and uh, uh, return to, uh, to the original schedule, or almost. Yes. All but right. Thank you, everyone. We appreciate your attendance. Uh, stay tuned for the, the next talk in the computational storage section in the SNEA track in just a moment. Thank you.